Hello and welcome to a new video. Today my surroundings are a bit different. I'm actually in my self-tape space where I do all my auditions for theatrical and commercial auditions. I decided to use my auditioning backdrop in this video because today's video is all about beginner tips of what you need to do if you want to become an actor. So you've always wanted to be an actor but you're not sure where to start. This video is for beginner beginners as in you just had the idea and you don't know what you want to do yet but you know you want to do acting. So these are the five things I did before I made my big move to LA and did the whole Hollywood pursuit. These are the five things I did just to start acting and get my foot in the door. So I'm not going to put any of these in any particular order, it's really up to you, but here's the first one we're going to discuss. Now this might seem a little scary and like you're just throwing yourself out there with no guide, but I really do think as soon as you can you should get into improv classes. Now improv is a whole other beast that could have a series of videos of how to get good at it and how to do it, but I think if you're a beginner you should do improv because the main thing improv teaches you is to let go, let loose, and not think. When I took improv classes, my teacher was very big on just going with your first thought, your first instinct, not overthinking and not being embarrassed. Things that looked and felt so stupid, if a fly was on the wall watching us, he'd be like, what are these humans doing? In my opinion, if you want to be a good actor, you have to learn how to let loose and not get bothered or embarrassed easily. Because in improv, you might feel stupid and like you're doing it wrong, but honestly, the wilder you get, the better you actually look. If you're in your head thinking, then that's when the scene doesn't look as good. I feel like improv will get you out of your comfort zone and give you initial acting skills that you can use throughout your career. Yes, as you get more into theatrical acting, you'll have scripts and things you're supposed to say, but I believe what makes a good actor is what you uniquely bring to a character in a role, and I feel like improv helps you with that because it's all about using your mind and your instincts to create a scene and just exist. So I think taking an improv class is a perfect first step to get your taste in the acting world. The second thing you should do if you want to be an actor is watch good actors. Before wanting to pursue my own acting dream, I was just a movie buff because I kind of came from a movie family. That's just what we did. We watched movies. But as I got more and more into acting, I started noticing different performances and why they stood out and why those people were such good actors. Think of your favorite actor. If it's Leonardo DiCaprio, Meryl Streep, Viola Davis, watch their films and see what they do and see if you can see a pattern or what makes them so unique and why you enjoy them so much. I feel like with any craft or any industry, you should definitely watch the top dogs of it just to get a sense of, ooh, okay, why are they the top dogs? Why do they know what they're doing? And how can I utilize what they're doing in my own craft? So one of my favorite things to do is to watch all of my favorite actors' films, which is hard to do because they've been in tons of things. But for example, Mark Ruffalo is one of my favorite actors. And I have watched a pretty good amount of his films. I feel like this step is one of the easier ones you can do to pursue acting because one, you get to watch TV all day, but also depending if you have all the streaming sites, it's something free you can do because we'll get into it, but acting is expensive. I would also suggest watching plays. Now this might be a little harder because it is kind of difficult going to the theater because the theater costs money, but if you're in college and you have the course theater appreciation, I would definitely check that out because in the program you get to see plays and some streaming sites actually do show theater performances and I'm sure if you look hard enough you can find it on YouTube. But I definitely think if you want to be an actor, you should look at the people who are dominating the industry and see if you can learn from their performances and maybe also their life story of how they pursued their acting career. The third thing you should do if you're a beginner wanting to pursue acting is to act. Like I said with improv, starting an acting class is a great way to get your foot in the door. One, you're learning skills and methods that you can use throughout your career. Two, you're meeting new people, meeting new actors, which we'll get into later in another video about how connections are important. And three, practice makes perfect and classes are the perfect place to practice. Now, if you can't afford classes, because again, acting is expensive, maybe you can start a YouTube channel making skits with friends. That's actually how I started to get into acting and how this channel came about. I would just practice monologues from movies and put them on YouTube to one, start gaining confidence and again, to just practice. If you have a bit of acting skills already under your belt, I would suggest student films and short films. Another way I started my acting career was acting in student films. I was a part of my university short film club because I was a filmmaker, so I was into editing, but I also started to audition for the films. Student films are a great place to start because they're learning filmmaking and you're learning acting, so you guys can coexist and help each other learn together. 
They might also give you good footage to use for your acting reel. Now as you get more and more into pursuing auditions, you will need an acting reel. If you don't know what that is, it's very strong scenes of you performing as an actor. It can be in a short film, a feature film, anything that you've acted in, just showcasing your skills and what you bring to the table. And if it's available to you, community theater is another good outlet to start acting. Basically, you just need to start practicing as soon as you can because as they say, practice makes perfect. And if you start practicing now, over the course of years, you'll just get better and better. Next thing you need to think about if you want to seriously pursue acting is making a game plan. Acting is a marathon, not a sprint. If you're not one of the lucky ones that gets discovered in a bathroom or just is the human embodiment of this character this director wanted and you just get plucked out out of thin air, then you're gonna need a plan like most actors. With making a plan, you do need to be a little realistic. What jobs or side hustles are you gonna have while you pursue acting? Like, honey, let me tell you. <laughs> LA is expensive, acting is expensive, being an adult is expensive, and when you start out, acting does not pay the bills, okay? So you're gonna need a game plan and to not quit your day job until you absolutely can. Don't think that if you're a beginner actor, you need to just quit your day job and pursue acting right off the jump. I personally would not advise that unless you're wealthy and you've got money like that, but if you're like the average person and you don't, I would suggest getting a flexible job. This is part of the reason why a lot of actors are waiters because that's a very flexible job. You can find people to cover your shift if you have an audition. So I would suggest not being a waiter, but getting a flexible job. I went to college for video editing, so that was always my backup or my day job. For me, I do freelance video editing rather than a nine to five in-house editing job because I can edit on my own time schedule and still fit in auditions when I need to. Today, for instance, I started the day with an audition and then then right after I finished that, I went to my freelance video editing job, which is where I make the big ones. The next thing you need to think about when you're thinking about your game plan is what is your strategy to go about your dreams? Do you move to LA? Do you move to Atlanta? If you're in Canada, are you going to go to Toronto? You need to figure out where exactly you're going to plant yourself to start this dream. For me, it was moving to LA because that has always been my dream and I'm from Texas and Atlanta was still the South and a girl was just ready to get out of the South, okay? For obvious reasons. I would start looking at the cities that have good acting opportunities and fit the lifestyle that you want for yourself. I personally am a planner and would not use the word spontaneous to describe myself, so I feel more comfortable going about my dreams with a game plan. This may not be your strategy, you might just be the person who's just like, YOLO deuces, let's just figure it out, I'll move to LA and figure it out, which is kind of what I did. I didn't really come out here with a job, but I did have, again, the video editing skills to back me up. So, but yeah, don't feel bad if you need to think about it or make a game plan. Not everyone has to spontaneously move out and just act on faith. You can act on faith with some wisdom and have the game plan. And lastly, this is the most important step. Start saving now. I know when I started pursuing my acting dream, I kind of heard it was expensive and yada yada things you would need, but honey, let me tell you, acting is expensive. There's a lot of things you have to invest in with your own money before you start getting paid. Headshots, outfits and makeup for headshots. Reels, especially if you go to professional to make your reel. Acting classes, workshops, especially if you want to do all the different ones commercial acting, scene study, all of the methods, it costs money. If your dream is to move to LA or Atlanta, that costs money too. Acting is an expensive career, so you definitely want to start saving now because I would not suggest just YOLOing it and putting it on your credit card because let me tell you, that's what I did when I moved here and two credit cards were maxed and I would not wish that on anyone. So learn from my mistakes and save. And I'm not saying I didn't save. I actually did save a chunk of money before I moved to LA and started pursuing my acting career, but the chunk I saved was like a lot for Texas. It was not LA level of savings and that was pretty much gone within the first like five months. So save, save, and hey, save again because you're gonna need money. So yeah, those are my five tips for things you can start today that will help you start pursuing your acting dreams. These are just things I've learned and picked up on my journey through acting. Definitely look around for other videos to find the best method that works for you. But also congratulations on watching this video and just choosing to pursue your dreams. It's not easy not having a traditional job and being an artist and wanting to be an actor. So kudos for you for already being brave and choosing this path. Let me know if any of these tips were helpful for you or if you have more questions. I will definitely love to answer those in the comments. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!